It is Thursday, May 16th. I'm Tim Ryan. At least six people are known dead, 14 unaccounted for after tornadoes in North Texas. The dead and missing were all in Hood County around the Granbury area. About 50 people were injured there. The damage has closed the Cleburne ISD today. The Granbury ISD will be open. In addition to Granbury, a tornado damaged homes in Cleburne. We've been looking at that uh, in the last couple of minutes. Also, a uh, home in Millsap in Parker County to the west of Fort Worth. Also, a tornado in Montague County to our north near Nakona. Storm damage in Ennis, south of Dallas as well. And we start our team coverage live in Cleburne with Fiona. Good morning. And yes, it is just an incredible scene here as far as the damage. Take a look behind me. We are here in Cleburne. This that you see in front of me, you see all the debris, the power lines. Uh, this right here is Gerard Elementary School. If you take a look to the left, all that was Gerard Elementary School. Still standing, though, in the background, but obviously no school today. As you take a look to the right, we'll take you over here to one of the streets, uh, and you can see the house here on the corner, roof completely ripped off. You can see just how hard it was hit. And, of course, folks slowly pouring out of their homes this morning, and as the sun continues to come up, they're really starting to see just how much they are going to have to clean, clean, clean up here. Uh, David Wilson uh, lives uh, just uh, up the street around the corner, right? And you were here last night, sir, when the storm rolled in. Can you tell me about that moment? Well, it was a very frightening moment. Um, it happened so quickly. On it, it was so fast. And uh, it's like my home just started vibrating. And uh, then the power went out. And uh, then you start hearing noises, you know, things sound like they're crashing, et cetera. And uh, tried to get my wife into our bathtub, big heavy duty porcelain tub, and uh, closer to the center of the house. And uh, it was just a very scary moment. It was, uh, you don't know what's happening. All you can do is hear. And then your windows start vibrating. And, uh, and what happened when it was finally over? And it, there was just. That, that moment where you could finally assess. Well, it was pandemonium for a little while. And then here come different people around. The neighbors uh, were checking on one another. And I was concerned about people who lived right there close to me. One of the elderly ladies, a, just a sweet lady. And I, I couldn't get to her because the trees had crashed into her front entrance. And I was trying to get her attention by going to the windows, uh, trying to get to her doors, which I couldn't. And I was really concerned about her and finally reached one of her children over in the Dallas area. And uh, we were able to communicate with her through him to me so I wouldn't be so concerned about her. Now this morning, of course, you, we've been talking, it's getting brighter, so we're starting to really see what damage was done. Have you talked to your neighbors, friends, and, and what, what, what is your first thought when you see all of this? Your first thought is, honestly, mm -hmm. that it could be worse. It could have been for me anyway. Now, there's, look, is this home right here? Uh, that's devastating. And then my friends that own the service station around the corner, uh, they have a lot of damage. All the trucks around there are turned over, et cetera. That's what I understand. And uh, then all of our power lines are down. Like these big heavy-duty lines, those are uh, distribution lines that uh, they use for dist distributing electricity in the area. And there's, there's going to be a lot of work. Start little bit by bit, just like today, right? That's true. But you know what? They have a lot of reconstruction people out here this morning, and I have a feeling things are going to get better uh, really quickly. All right. Thank you so much, David, for sharing that story, and best of luck to you. Now, as far as school closings today, school officials at Cleburne ISD, all classes have been canceled. That's the two middle schools, the one elementary uh, which we are right next to, Cleburne High School, which does have water damage. The water department, I'm told by officials, is up and running at full pressure. Now, the hospital may be on backup power, so if, uh, if that is the case, Encore would have to focus uh, on that uh, and make that a priority. And um, if you do need assistance, due to last night's storms. Uh, according to the city website, there is an emergency shelter open. Just head to the conference center. But once again, here in Cleburne, located at 1501 
West Henderson Street, 1501 West Henderson Street, if you need any help due to last night's storms. Reporting live in Cleveland, I'm Fiona Borsiza for Good Day. And, and Fiona, as you look around that particular neighborhood, we're hearing uh, what sounds like it could be a, a chainsaw or a generator. So it sounds like a cleanup work. It, can you tell, is it already underway? Yes, there are crews here and they look like they are working on the elementary school property right there. Um, and we've seen several of those crews along the way, usually around the power line areas, trying to clear that off the roads and out of the way uh, for people since, of course, that can be extremely dangerous. So, yes, we have seen that uh, happening. Right. And once they get power restored the, to the area, then things can really start to uh, happen as far as improvements. But it, remarkable how quickly uh, the, those folks can swing into action once they pinpoint the damage. And, and that really kind of took this morning uh, till the sun could come up and we could really get a, a good look and a survey at, uh, at where the damage is. But, wow, what we're looking at right now is amazing. You know what David said earlier, the the man who lives, you know, up just up the street here, he said it, it could have been worse. And according to the mayor, seven people were transported to the hospital with minor injuries, but that was it. So they feel pretty blessed. And, and right behind you, yeah, it looks like, yeah, there's a power pole just cut, yeah, in, you, you cut in half. I mean, and, th and this is a term, you know, you, you always hear in situations like this. But when you get there on the ground, it, it does resemble a war zone. Absolutely. It, I mean, it absolutely looks like a war zone down some of these streets. And then you, and then you look, uh, you know, just, you know, 30 seconds before we got here, n nothing. And then you, we came right over this hill and you could really tell that's where that straight line wind went right on through. And of course, uh, they're going to check if this was a tornado caused by a tornado. Right. Right.